Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we've got another tactical debrief today. This is all of yesterday's mission, What, which was we were uh, at the start of a new campaign and we drove our fleet up to the coast and put some tanks in Tutong and the mission was to defend the tanks from the red aggressors. Um, now, uh, to start off, if I set that going, the mission went completely wrong. I tried to cut it out of the video as best I could, but we accidentally left the SAMs on at the naval fleet. And you can see these SAMs, which are like stupidly long Phoenix missiles, which travel like 50 miles or something. Um, and obviously we're just shooting the Reds down before they got within 50 miles of our base. So the mission didn't work, which was annoying, but it happens sometimes, so uh, deal with it. Um, on the plus side, so what we did is we got our blue Harriers to bomb our own sh fleet. That's the only way we could get rid of this, um, which is very annoying. And we finally did that. Uh, however, uh, and but the mission never really took hold and the Reds never really got in to destroy our tanks. So never mind. Um, but on the plus side, we made the best of it and we got plenty of air-to-air -air fighting. So what we can do is uh, uh, basically ha have a look at some of the air-to-air -air, uh, aircraft engagements. And um, if nothing else, then just have a little fun. So, as the SAMs continuously pummel away and ruin our mission, let's um, see what we've got. Look at those poor A-10s <laughs> trying to dodge Phoenix missiles. Never stood a chance. Never mind. So, let's scroll forward until stuff starts happening. Right, so the first thing is we've got Vickers. Uh, now, I didn't know this was actually happening until the last moment. So, we've got our guys defending the town. This is the town around here. And we've got red guys. They were just sitting mm, kind of three or four miles away, sniping from the hills. You've got four sniping... Um, whatever these are called, uh, KA-50s, blasting away with Vickers, and they're worryingly accurate. Um, uh, they didn't quite have the range, but they moved start slightly forward within kind of three or four miles, and then you see they're just running out of range, and then they started killing. We never really stood a chance in our Hueys, but they, it, we got some cool uh, footage at least, dogfighting. See, look at that. It's like having air-to-air -air missiles. It's crazy. Anyway, so they did that. Uh, there's not a whole... A uh, great deal of point of following the helicopter fights through. I don't think there's really anything to learn by it. At the end of the day, we just kept charging them and they kept blowing us up. And occasionally we got through and killed one of them. Um, that's going to be trash down, I suppose. No? Yep, yep, you got hit. A little bit weird how these Vickers work. Sometimes they kill with kinetic energy, just, just punching the chopper and then exploding later on. And that's definitely going to get him. Poor old lad, it's only 60 feet. Pow, in the face. See these stupid cheating KF-50s just sniping away. Very annoying. Oh, look at that. Come on, trash. Pew, 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 pew. We don't have any guidance on our Huey rocket, so it's just spray and pray. And... Pew. That's fun. We've got Tender coming in. And those Hydras just finally died. And this is how we uh, ended up killing the hel helicopters. It was the um, Harriers. I know they show F-16s, F but the Harriers, they came in and uh, took them out with sidewinders. So that was pretty cool. The main problem was friendly fire. Uh, we killed lots of our own choppers. Our Harriers killed lots of our own choppers. We've never done this before, a big fight where there's uh, fast jets mixed with uh, choppers. So we found all kinds of visual identifying problems that we've never had before, and hence we had a nightmare. Oh, spiders. No, it's dead. He got hit by it. So that was a kinetic kill. It just grazed his chopper and was enough to kill it. Nothing we can do about it apart from charge forward and hope we'll get to them. And we had an out-of-bounds marker about kind of here, roughly where the, where the mouse is and the Harriers couldn't go any further. You notice distinct lack of aeroplanes at the moment. That's because the SAM uh, ships are still up. We will get rid of them eventually. Okay, so MiG-21s are finally braving it in. They happen to go on the deck to avoid the SAMs. Raptors managed to get here, just under these couple of KF-50s, but I don't think he can shoot them. There's some problems with the Cobras at the mo uh, at the um, <coughs> Excuse me. There's some problems with the Gazelles at the moment, with the missiles not locking, so I think they had some problems. So we've got Uderosa and Zoyberg coming in super low to avoid the SAMs. So they're going to have to do pop-up attacks and then dive down. And we've got such a thing. Beautiful. Piao up the chuff. That was a lovely. Let's got to see that again. So P Mail is just flying around 350 knots, just doing his uh, his patrol. And Uderosa comes in almost supersonic, like a shark. Missile out at one mile, and Aviate never had a chance. Perfect use example of how to use the uh, MiG-21 in a SAM area. Bear in mind they've got Phoenix SAM. We've got Phoenix SAM cover. Going uh, supersonic now. You just keep fast enough, keep low enough, and um, 
you can beat Sam's and the Harriers. So that's how uh, we use uh, these guys use their jet. I mean, and the Harriers are much more manoeuvrable than these MiG 21s, and they've got much better weapons as well. These new age, obviously new airplanes, 21s are old airplanes, but. If you come in real low, real fast, you're pretty much invincible. What happened over here? Here, I didn't see. I've got Zoyberg coming here. Zoyberg's a new addition to the group. Hired him yesterday. So, it made a little bit of an error. No, it didn't. I thought he went high, but he didn't. He just did a bit of a roll. So, Udaris does his shot. What does Zoyberg do? <coughs> Speed that up. So, Zoyberg comes in. Over here, so Uderos is doing a supersonic um, exit. So, it's beautiful use of the MiG 21 hit and run. Ah, Tender's seen him. No, he hasn't. And Joyberg's just following Uderos around because they're wingmen, which is great to see. Uh, wow, look at that. Uderos has got another kill, so that's great. That's great to see, that is. So, Uderos is supersonic out. He's turned back in when he thinks he's safe, all under Sam cover, and spotted a new guy. This guy down low, it's Tender. And um, Tender's patrolling. I don't think he realises he's in trouble. And again, he's got this shark down here. That's a one mile shot. May hit. Beautiful. Right in the defector. Lovely stuff. And it's another kill to the MiG-21s. So that's great. Really hard to beat supersonic MiG-21s on the deck. Hard enough just to see them. And Zoyberg's just following him through. I think uh, Uderos is the king of the MiG-21. <coughs> Ah, and uh, Zoyberg, you see, he just went just a few, um, just a few feet too high. He just raised up slightly here, and that's enough for the ships to get the Phoenix Phoenixes on. And kapiao, kapiao, that guy's out. Uh, and Uderosa finally meets his maker. It had to happen at some point, so never mind. That was some good fighting for the mid twenty ones, at least. You got a cool dog fight there. You see, uh, Raptor identifies uh, um, Sonic. Ah, that was a good shot by Gumbo. One thing we notice is really hard if you're in a fast jet to identify which chopper is which because choppers are just small and they all kind of look the same from a couple of miles away. So it's good to see that target acquisition, the right guy getting killed, and Kasplonk. I didn't know that happened in the, in the movie. Now I know why that guy suddenly blew up. Great save by Dumbo, uh, Gumbo there. You can see the A-10s have beautifully masked their way through the mountains, but it's hopeless. You know, nothing can beat these missiles apart from supersonic 50 feet off the ground. So these A-10s will die shortly. Again, there's nothing, nothing, literally nothing you can do in an A-10 to beat these missiles, so it's obviously going to go down. Eventually. Bear in mind those ships have pretty much infinite missiles. No, he survived. Wow. So the A-10's task was to obviously kill these uh, units, but they couldn't get near them, so... I just realised I've been reading the top thing as the feet. Uh, the top thing is actually the speed. Uh, the feet is here, but it's ASL, so it's not actually accurate uh, above the ground. And Piao, that had to happen, obviously, so that's fine. Uh, Raptors in yet another dogfight with a um, um, K-50. I don't think there's much point of watching a helicopter dogfight. I don't think there's anything to learn there. They just spin round until someone gets a lucky hit. So uh, you've seen you've seen them all in the movies. So there's no point of watching that. You can see the um, K-50s are still sitting around here, kind of sniping. I get oh no gumbo, bad gumbo. Yes, I remember this. So, um, this is the, now this is the first time we've had a kind of relatively fast jets mixed with helicopters, good and bad helicopters. And uh, the bad thing was, we kept getting loads of team kills from the uh, trigger happy Harriers. Now, I don't really have a solution for this. I've never done this from the fast jets point of view before, so I don't know what it looks like. And you see that was Spider, poor old Spider getting shot. Right, that's another team kill by Gumbo. I didn't know that happened. Oh dear, he's in trouble now because that's his third for the month. Ooh, let me write that up quickly. Sad times. Um, so the problem is we've got Gumbo going around here and he's essentially blasting every helicopter he can see. Um, the problem is we've got goodies mixed with baddies, so it's no good. So um, we've got two things we do. We do punishment after three team kills. Gumbo's going to be punished now, so hopefully he'll start to learn his lesson. But the other thing is um, there was no real reason for these Harriers to be shooting on first pass, and I think this was the main problem. Um, I'd like to think if it was me in a Harrier, I would be blasting by with a visual pass. You know, as a Harrier, you're not really under any threat from these choppers. Come in for a visual pass a few hundred feet away from it, um, and then padlock it, and then go past, hi-yo-yo, back, round, and then come for the kill. 
Um, shooting on first pass at two miles away is almost certainly always going to end in um, problems and that's exactly what we've got here today problems so watch this and be very embarrassed and learn from it next time and that's problem sorted at the end of the day just make sure you learn from it right so that's poor old spider down he didn't have a very good day the raptor still alive somehow always got all the k50s in the world coming towards him but it was raptor he does like that kind of thing raptor still alive Skadrek is coming to help him. Raptor still alive. Got bloody Sonic blasting away at Trash. Pew! Trash is dead. And finally, Raptor's dead. Did anything else happen? And why is Cap not on here? Oh, yes, I am. I kept dying. That was my problem. Why did I die there then? Oh, dearie me! That's very sad to see. So, so after Gumbo team killed um, what's his face Spider, he turned around and shot Cap. I remember that. I was very angry about it. So, blah, 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 blah. again, Gumbo's just firing at stuff, any dot you can see in the sky, which is of course us and Pow. Cap's dead. That's very silly and embarrassing. More guys coming in. Atomic's coming in. What does he do? Oh no, tell me that's not a team kill. Yep, no, he gets a good shot for Gennaro. Again, I suggest going past, for signing past first and then coming around, but... Piao got a kill from Sonic pounding away with the sniper rifle, and... Piao, no, yep, you got it. Nice kill from Tender there. Best way of um, one of the good ways of IDing a K50 is that they're almost always hovering. Oh dearie me! And Tomic there just shot another team kill. Sonic's dead. Atomic just came in first pass, shot this guy, which was Skadreki, of course, and Huey real close as well. Should have known better there. So yet another team kill. We'll write that up. And here come the 21s to punish him. So you've got two twenty ones, beautiful uh, fighting formation, wingman pair, coming transonic, and atomic is going to be a dead man. Uh, these R sixties are pretty terrible missiles, so it just outruns that, even though it's in a slow jet. But these guys are closing in. That's going to be a quarter mile shot in the tailpipe. Look at that wonderful, lovely uh, backing each other up, and that's no chance of surviving that. So he's down. Is Gumbo going to realise what's going on? I think he does. And here we go, Gumbo joins the fray. Now, what these MiG-21s can do is use their speed to get away. They never really slow down. Unfortunately, wow, look at that, double KO. Fortunately, these um, Harrods got much better weapons, AIM-9 mics, which have a further distance of travel and uh, much further distance than the R-60, and a much better seeking head. Look at that, twin shot. Good, good recovery from a tonic and good interception by Gumbo, and that's a double KO. It's pretty awesome, that was. Sam's are coming out again. Looks like Zoid Bird makes it back to base. Scroll that forward now. Oh, no, Zoid Bird doesn't want to go back to base. He wants more blood, so he's coming in. Poor old Tony Z is just throwing straight to the Sam's. Nothing he can do. Such a big target. And just can't go fast enough, obviously. A snipe there from Sonic and his stupid rifle. And that is going to be one of us out. That spider dead. Cap should avenge you. That's Tony out. Here comes Zoidberg. What's he going to do? He's got nothing to kill, really. Whoops. Is he going to kill Cap? I hope not. Nice shot. Uh, I'm only 40... No, sorry. I'm 200 feet. Very good. Although a bit annoying. But that's good flying. It's really hard, especially in a, a MiG-21 down there going fast to spot helicopters and stuff so it's pretty cool anyway and you'll notice there's only the blue guys doing the team killing the red guys aren't doing the team killing so that shows how experienced drivers like Zoyberg and Uderosa um, care, pick their targets much more carefully where the blue guys are just kind of shooting at anything that seems to be moving which is the difference between experience I suppose at the end of the day got Tender blasting away at thin air apparently Oh, what's happened there? Ah, it's a bug. You see, you've got R60s just flying out of nowhere. It's just a lag or bug or something like that happening. I don't know what it is. 
probably have to ignore it. Zoidberg has seen Tinder. I just something bad happened to Tinder. Zoidberg's seen Tinder and takes him out easily. I don't really know what happened. There's obviously something went weird there. Atomic, however, is returning the favour and backing him up, which is good to see. Good communication and splat takes him off his back. Great work there. I think Tender's probably not going to survive that hit, but we'll see. So we better survive that. Should we can survive? Tender's down. Oh dear, Atomic. No, it's fine. I think Atomic's just seen that uh, signal ray. Let's run that forward. Zoidberg's back on the prowl. What Zoidberg going to do? He's got nothing to kill, really, apart from Dove. Can he see him? Can he kill another chopper? And... He's going to do it. Pew! Wow, nice kill, Zoidberg. Oh, I'm glad I hired him. <laughs> Look at these R60s. Where did they come from? Look, the R60s just came out of thin air. Good old DCS being accurate. That's hilarious. So, ignore that. Good kill by the Zoidberg. And then there's a merge. Tomic and Zoidberg. Tomic didn't see him as much higher. And I think that's the end of that engagement. No, it's not. They've seen each other. And we have a fight. So Zoidberg's burning off some speed. Uh, gaining height to go and get this Harry up. Really dangerous because the Sam stood up, but I don't think they really get. I we may have bombed the Sam at this point. You see P Man there, he's just going around in circles bombing our own ships. Uh, no, Sam's still coming out. Zoidberg, unfortunately, is going to be um, have his fight taken away from him by that, and that's very annoying. That would have been a good dogfight. We haven't seen any really good dogfights yet. Basic kill by Tender on Sonic, just with a um, Fox 2, so that's fine, we'll go past that. Right, the boys. How have they seen? Have seen the A-10? No, haven't seen the A-10. And the A-10 got shot down by stupid Sam, so that's annoying. Tender comes in. Tender's uh, doing pretty well. He's got no team kills, I've noticed. And he's shot about four or five choppers so far. All correct choppers, so that's more like it. Well, lots of stuff happening. Stars, Sonic sniping, Signore going in with guns. No one likes to see Cap die, but it may happen, I'm afraid. All those fix off. I've dodged two, look at that. I've got my hydras out. Pew, 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 lasers. I got a hit. I actually got a hit. Wow. I die. The boys go in to avenge me. Doves him. Pew, pew. Oh, look at that. Trashes the decoy. Doves the killer. Chew miniguns blazing. Oh, I've got a minigun hit. And hydras in their chops. Oh, trash misses. Oh, trash hits stuff. Oh, God. That was embarrassing. Never mind. He survived. Signore has been a cheeky bastard. Come on, boys. Get him. Get him. We've got someone else coming in. The M1s are shooting. Pew, 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 pew. Spiders coming in. Oh, the M1s got him. And Dove got him. How much punishment could this man take? He's finally down. That's pretty sick. Sniper rifle coming in and... Oh, Vickers takes that trash. Unlucky trash. God, those hair 50s are annoying. Oh, meanwhile, Atomic's in. Hasn't really seen anything, but the boys are back up from after him. The uh, MiG-21 pair, that's Zoidberg and Uderosa, making a really good wingman pair. I think Zoidberg makes a good uh, red player. He's got that kind of... You'll notice that um, the red guys stick together in a wingman pair all the time, making them much more effective, where the blue guys are just scattered all over the place because they are obviously the less experienced guys. So it's good to see that. We got an R60, it's probably not got the legs. About half a mile now. The Zoya Bear's got the speed. Tomic probably doesn't know it. anyone's after him. And that's 700 knots supersonic. And that was always going to catch him up, so well done, Zoyberg. And Ud Uderos is there to cover him. Tomic has survived, apparently. Pew pew pew, guns. Tomic finally realises the game is up. And. Look, because you've got um, two guys coming in, if one guy overshoots, which is very possible because these planes are so fast compared to their prey, that you've got the other guy can come and finish up, which is probably what we're going to see. Or we'll just ignore him. Uh, I think these destroyers, these cruisers, are finally dead, dead now, so these guys can actually start coming in and fighting us. Pion. So this guy's just come in, Udresu's come in, blasted two guys, Dove and whoever that was there. That's very annoying. No one likes to see that. 
Joey Bird circled in the back end, so you've got these two, this wingman pair of Migton ones just doing hit and run, hit and run over 600 knots. Caps down. No. Tomic doesn't know what's going on. Really hard to fight against these when you've got Migton ones doing proper hit and run tactics, so they're going to fly away, get their speed up, get transonic or supersonic, and just blat in. Really hard to stop them doing that and then just fly away. We've got uh, Tony's in, he's attacking the mothership. Blasting away with um, uh, Mavericks. So we'll bet these guys know they can go high now because the Sams are down. So they're just going fast. There's nothing we can do to keep up with them. Big 21's off, coming in for another run soon. Tony, Tony's attack was fantastic. And he comes, brrr, shoots, a, uh, shoots a ship and a Harrier, Gumbo. Completely neutral neutralizes us. P Man just gets up in time. MIGs are going to start coming as there's a sniper rifle from Stahl but misses. Another snipe on Spider. Spider's he's been hit. Yep. Connected kill. That's annoying. So reds are wiping up at the moment. Dove absolutely blasting at Tony. That's awesome. Not much of it you can do really do in a helicopter against uh Oh, and Tony comes in for another crippling kill. Kills Tender this time, so the Harriers can't even get off their station. So it's a Atomic and P-Man to sort this guy out. Skay and Trash did make it out, so they're going to defend the units. Luckily, these guys here, although they had a free reign to come in and kill these M1s, they never really got going. They were just sitting back, waiting for QE, so that was, that was lucky for the Blues, otherwise they could have really wiped up. Tony's still alive. An AIM-9, oh, P-Man, Atomic shot an AIM-9 but missed. Tony's in yet again. Luckily, missed those two Harriers. That was uh, that could have wiped another two Harriers out. All sorts going in. Mig twenty nine, Mig twenty ones coming back in. There's an R sixty shot at trash, but missed. Tomix still failing to kill Tony. <laughs> Tony's for gowing at Gumbo. Got an R sixty out from Azuibo. Uh, finally coming back in supersonic. And it's been a hit. It's a hit. And and what was that? Spider. Nice. Check that out. Locking him up. The Harriers are just failing to kill him for whatever reason. And Spider's taking his aim. Go on, shoot, sir. R60 coming in. And there we go. Heat seeker from Spider. Pew. Takes Tony out. That's pretty sick. Tony's still alive, he's going down. Yep, he uh, kamikazes himself, I think. Damn fine way to go out, if I do so, so myself. Pew, miss. Pew, hit. And pow. Takes out another Harrier. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Right, uh, we've got Zoeberg back in for hit and runs. The, um, okay, these guys are finally, these KFAs are finally converging on the town and starting to kill stuff, which is good to see for them. Oh dear, so the bear's got on the back of Tender. Tender's going to have to do something. Tender does have the manoeuvrability, so he can he can evade here. Guns and guns, great kill Zoidberg. Lots of kills from him today, we like that. Gumbo's patrolling. Right, what's happening over here? They've just wiped trash out, I think. Fort Nero's been here, I think. Yeah, we've got Fort Nero. Boom, take that, sir. They've taken some tanks down, but not many, I don't think. All right, let's carry on. Zoidberg still refuses to die. Still harassing the fleet. Just can't get these MiG-21s down. They're just, we're just going to wear them out of ammo. Trash, another helicopter down. Completely destroying. Look, we've only got one helicopter. That's me defending the town. Everyone else has been nailed by the aggressors. Ah, oh, another guy. Another guy down, that is Dove, shot by Zoidberg, again. Um, the wingman pair have linked up again, coming in. Transonic to do something. Finally got a chance while they were off to get people mobile. You can see we're finally making it towards the town again. Rose is coming in, what damage is he going to do now? They must be out of missiles by now. Shot from P-Man, up from Zoidberg. Zoidberg sees it coming. 
does evasion uh, does his countermeasures but it's just not enough and he's toast great fleet defense by the p-man and what happened to Uderosa we got him as no we didn't Uderosa seen his buddy getting shot so it's going to come and get p-man good work by the 21s and p-man never really sees it coming and that's a double ko kapion kapion p-man's down still got these aggressors at the fleet and that's Uderosa finally Winchester and he's off and out of fuel. Wow. Absolute chaos caused by those 21s and Tony. And we've got, still got sniping. Luckily the um yeah, these K50s never really got hold of killing these guys, so uh Cap died as well. Where did I die? Let's see what happened, shall we? Oh, I got hit by that thing. Right, nothing really coming in at the moment. A few helicopters that need wiping up now, so let's see 10 to do that. I've seen Signore. Maybe he hasn't. Yeah, he's got one. Uh, Seeds Fortunero, who's static. The one way of spotting these K50s is that they're usually hovering. Oh, look, uh, Signore's tracking tender. Aim 9 in the chops, and that's Fortunero down, that's good. Another sniping shot. Pow, that's a hit on a. Um, whatever that is by Stahl, so they're starting to take out ground units finally Spider's come out to kill Signore Ooh. oh I hit Cap the fucking Stahl just hit Cap the Spider's in a fight with this guy and we've got Coffee and Wolf Shadow coming in now with the A-10s over the s over feet wet to see what they can do Spiders in a dogfight with Signore. Our tender comes and shoots the wrong man. No, no. Oh, I can't believe that happened. Tender's. I didn't think Tender team kill, but he has. Pow. Sh yep, shot spider. Right, open up the log. If they've all team killed a P man, I think. Right. So Wolf Shadow and Coffee come in and start blast and actually finally doing their job of killing these guys although saying that they can only now because the Sam's down so that's nothing against them and we've got uh, these Mavericks coming in oh they shot a trouble <laughs> that's fair enough great shot uh, and an aim line going up for Atomic oh that's a double team the kill these guys are on fire uh, Wolf Shadow got confused and he just blasted at the air or lag, I don't know. It's uh, stupid, whatever it was. Uh, so Coffee's uh, going to go and do the attacking while Wolf Shadow's going to, I think, attack the ground units. Uh, Signore, P Man just took Signore out. This is going to be a massive Charlie Foxtrot now, isn't it? So we've got P Man going vertical and a yo yo, because he's just seen Stunning Dust. We've got an A9 Mike's come out from Coffee and nailed him. Uh, the A-10s have got the same missiles as the Harriers, which are really good missiles. So it's, uh, it's pretty much an equal, equal fight between a A-10 and a Harrier, really. I guess a Harrier's got you know more thrust away, but... Uh, P-Man, one good thing about his yo-yo is he's come... No, he's running home, that's fair enough. Gumbo's come in, shot an A-10, pow, beautiful kill. Trash is just nailing Sonic, that's great to see. <laughs> and we've got a merge from Tender and Coffee. So we're now going to see A10 versus uh, Harrier. As Sonic's getting nailed by trash. Look at that! How many minigun hits we've got on Sonic? Six, seven hits, eight hits, and Sonic is still alive. That is a tough, tough beast. They've merged. Still fine. I'm just looking at the chopper at the moment. Okay. Anyway, trash loses one way or another. Trash loses. I think this guy, yeah, this guy comes in and helps him. So Sonic's calling for help. I'll go back in a minute and look at that. Stahl comes in. Right behind him. Trash dodges at the last second. Trash reverses. Dogfight square on. So the difference in guns, the, this has got... Uh, these guys have got a 7.62 minigun or something similar, whereas um, the Reds have got huge cannons, anti-tank uh, cannons, and that style hit. So he did well, but anyway, so what happened with the dogfighting trio? 
So P-Man, this is Yo-Yo, comes down, merge with A-10, coffee. So now it's a uh, turn rate contest, and I think the A-10 will probably have the turn rate. I think coffee just eased off a little bit there, and that was lag there. Yeah, okay, the bat equal turn rate. And Tender just loses, oh, and in comes P-Man. Oh, yep, so that is coffee hit, it's probably going to be going down. Gumbo's getting out of there. Oh, look at that. Fortinero just sniped Tender in a turn, fast turn. How did that happen? Got to have a look at that again. So, Tender aim nines at, well, nothing. Fortinero. Tender Vickers. Wow, I've never seen that done before. Gets manoeuvring plane. P-Man is just, he was shot, so he dies. And Tender's down. Great work by the Reds. Piano, uh, another shot by Fortnero. In it comes, and very close. Oh, look at that. Right. So, Coffee's survive. Oh, I remember this bit. Coffee's on fire, and he's, I think, goes for a kamikaze. And finally, someone's picked him up. Oh, Spider kills him. Spider gets another A10 kill. Second A10 kill of the day. Nice work, sir. Lovely. Great fighting. Um, so, Tender tried to shoot Fort Nero. Missed. Zoidberg's back in the fray. Coming in Transonic. It's going to do some damage. You can just tell. Look at the speed of that thing. That's now 60 in the chops, I think. Hit. Great shot, Zoidberg. Nice work. And that's going to be out 600 knots, back in 600 knots. Ideal use of uh, the, the tender, tender's death body coming down. Trying to kill Fort Nero, that's hilarious. Yep, Zoidberg has got to maintain speed, turn around, and come in for another hit and run. There's kill there or something. P Man comes in, spots Fort Nero. Pew, pew. That's an aim 9 as Fort Nero shoots a gumbo. Splat. Zoidberg's done. Uh, uh, he does. Um, so we folks like me does massive exits and then um, a lovely big ingress giving you loads of time to get safe and loads of time to come in. This is great use of that material 21. Very promising to see. Uh, so yeah, I doubt anyone's going to spot him so fast. At this point, I think he's seen this Harrier and decided to bug out. Circle round, got his six. That was a lovely move there. He saw the Harrier going beside him. Best thing to do, turn around full to full 360 and get on his tail which he has it'd be great to see a kill here as well great patience just gonna take a look at that something, something to learn from that so he's coming along here spots the harrier on his on his right about a quarter of a mile away so the natural thing would be to crank right and turn into him but he knows that he's twice as fast as atomic and there's no way that he's going to get behind him so he's got two things he can do to get behind him. I guess he can do a, a, a high yo-yo up and then come back down. That's one way of slowing yourself down, essentially, and falling in behind someone. The problem with that is that um, you make yourself vulnerable if you go up like that, and the Harry can see you. So what he's chosen to do is a full 360 lateral turn on the deck, which keeps you nice and safe, kind of uh, height-wise, and then reacquire him afterwards. And that's difficult because you, by doing that, you will lose complete visual of this guy and you'll have to reacquire him. But that's what he does. If you see, he does the full turn, reacquires him from scratch, which is very difficult to do. So nothing really helping him to do that. And he's got bad visibility in this jet. But reacquires and comes in for the kill. So patience and good sense there. So I like to see flyers like that. And, uh, yep. And in the end, is worth it because he keeps himself safe and... Um, Shoots the, shoots the blue guy down. P-Man comes in, kills a guy. That's a weird spinning thing. Wow, look at that. Star really wanted to kill everyone. All the missiles at once. And Star has decided at this point, so he's come in. Uh, sorry, Zoeberg. Ah, something's happened. Something's happened that we didn't see. So there's... Submerge. Ah, right. So, uh, Zoeberg's coming. He's killed this guy, but Atomic's not died. So, um, Zoeberg is now coming, but it's coming in too fast. He takes a gunshot. 
but there's no way he can slow himself down so he's now going to do a high yo-yo to come back in which is exactly what he's doing however has gumbo spotted him he might have so look at that love perfect example of a yo-yo flares out don't know why but he is he's trying to fall back in behind atomic here but it's got too much going on just dodges that loads of countermeasures excellent work ideal now just go away there's no need to stay in this fight so let's see some good sense and him run away and he is doing it look at that a real human that does what Cap says. This is uncanny. Yep, beautiful straight line. Seen something else? He's going to turn back in, or is he going to keep going? So it's, it's lovely. Look, it's fast again. It's completely safe. Nothing can catch him up. So it's just bugging out. And when he feels he's completely safe and he's got no no tail, he will then turn around and come back into combat. So that's lovely stuff. And here he comes. He's going to find himself uh, another Harrier to shoot down. Had a, oh, he's got no missiles. He had a shot at Tendo. He's got no missiles. Uh, there is something happened over here. Oh no, it was uh, Tender came in and shot this guy. What's Zoyberg going to do? Is Zoyberg going to spot Tender now? Yes, he is. See, great patience there. And in fact, let's go back and have a look at that. Right, we're finally getting some use out of this tactical debrief. It's been all bullshit until now, but... Right, so he's come by. Let's stop that there. Um, he's obviously massive overspeed, as you know you can imagine, against this slow guy. So he's, he's done his spray and pray. He's missed. So, again, he's got that choice. He can high yo you up and back down to increase his uh, distance of travel to fall in behind this guy or we can do a full 360 which is um, okay but this time he, I think he wants to keep an eye on him so he's going up he's doing his yo-yo bit aggressive but it's all good reacquire the target and back down on his six it's wonderful stuff and a lovely chunky kill yet another kill Great flying. And these MiG 21s really, really stretched us. It's hard to come in and kill these Harriers like so efficiently, but they've done really well. And I think that he knows Tender's going down. So he's off. Uh, meanwhile, yet more fighting. I don't really understand what happened here. So there was a merge, and then they've turned into each other. They must have seen each other. Um, I think they've probably lost visual of each other, even though they're the same height. No, they've merged. P Man's seen him. I don't think of Derosa saw him, so P Man's turning in now. Uh, Derosa's using, turning his energy into big height, and I think he's bugging out. I'm not really sure now. I'm not sure what that Derosa move was. I think he was just basically trying to get Tally on the, the uh, P Man. Now, the thing about P Man's moves is, it's a lovely move, but he's burnt all of his energy off. You saw him go down to 200 knots there, so right down to near stool. Um, pretty much, and obviously he's got nothing in the bank after that to catch Uderosa and Uderosa, because Uderosa never really slowed down much, um, as a way in safe. A bit of lag there. Tender's surviving, but I think he's going down. He must be going down. Okay, p still not given up, but he has lost tally on the MiG-21. MiG-21 really fast. No, my mistake. I think p sees him. Yep, he has, and he's getting energy slowly back in that Harrier. He's got to take the shot soon, though, because that is a fast MiG. I get the feeling P-Man is uh, Winchester, so he's not going to be doing any shooting. Zoe Berg's done the lovely thing. Look, out, back into combat. No pissing around, straight out, straight in. Oh, and we have a miss out, finally, P-Man. Look at that, patience finally pays off. So it's chasing Uderosa around. If Uderosa had just burned to the mountains, he would have been safe, but instead he was turning back into combat. And that is an aim mine Mike. Very good missile. Beautiful shot. Troy Burke's seen it. Just turning, just turning into some cool, pretty cool combat. And a good, you know, good adversaries. The MiG-21 and and Harry are used completely differently. Right. <laughs> Sko Drecky had a blast at uh, Zoyberg there. That was pretty cheeky. P Man, who's on a bit of a roll at the moment, he had to spend the whole first half of the match essentially bombing our own ships, but now he's uh, finally getting to show his medal. He hasn't done any team killing, which is fantastic, and he's done lots of uh, red killing, which is good. Um, he's managed to get nearly 500 knots in his jet, 
and is chasing Zoidberg, but Zoidberg is extremely fast now. It's now transonic. So, can P Man get a shot in? Possibly. Not sure why he's flaring, but he is. I was showing Atomic who's, who, he, who he is. Uh, you see, there's Zoidberg dumped his missiles, and he knows this guy's chasing him, and he's just fleeing. Good show, Zoidberg. I think he's out of fuel. He's slowing down a little bit, but. He's managed to get away. Well done. So yeah, Zoidberg so so and P-Man have done extremely well. P-Man being very naughty shooting the enemy base. Knows he's not allowed to do that. We'll let him off. Uh, Fort and Fierro. Fort and Fierro's in the MiG-21. Didn't know that happened. So he's coming in to do some mig 21 in. Uh, you got Wolf Shadow coming in, in again in an A10, very risky business coming in from high because obviously it's very easy to spot. And I don't think he's going to get away with it, we'll see. Fort Nero is looking for these choppers. Look at that, four choppers conversion on poor old Signore. Poor old boy's in trouble. It's cap and trash to begin with, Signore blatting away. Atomic's coming in, is he going to... Yeah, oh, go oh my word. But four of us, I never knew there was four of us there. Oh, look, he, we, he hits us. <laughs> Oopsie. Signal Ray in a world of pain here. Look, he's getting sprayed by Sky. Four, five hits, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen hits. And that's enough bullets to take one down. Lovely job there. And an aim line coming out for nothing. Okay. Uh, right, finally, the very first person actually shooting the tanks. Finally, we're getting some tank killing. Oh, and some GPUs. <laughs> what the fuck? T Tony really wants that carrier dead. The terrorist, uh, Tony's dropping GPUs from... Where did he even come from? Okay. Anyway, let's have a look. Wolf Shadow coming in, doing some killing. We've got some uh, 65 hotels coming in. So this... If we had four A-10s doing this, once the SAMs were down... I know it's easier said than done, but they could have pro possibly even done the mission properly. Look, three units out, just with one strike. Four units out. So that could have been, if you had, if you had to four A-10s, that could have been um, 12 units out. Do that twice, they've won the mission. Wow, look how much he got hit. That was pretty awesome, right? Got to get back and watch that. Comes in, look at the AAA on it. Jesus. And that's good. But it doesn't matter because he's already taken out four units there. So he's done his job. So that shows that it could have been done this mission. If a, um, I know it's a bit, it's asking a bit much. But um, once the SAMS launches have been taken out, we still had a good kind of 50 minutes. If they had had four guys, I think I gave them five A-10s. They had five A-10s coming in just doing that with plenty of MiG-21 cover and a little bit of chopper cover. That could have, I reckon that could have been done. All these soft units around here. I know it shows uh, uh, these as tanks, but they're not actually tanks. They're actually soft units. Um, so that would have been really impressive if they'd have done it. But never mind. It wasn't to be on this mission. It wasn't a red mission proof this time. Tony's pissing around with a carrier still. Um, ah, action. Gunboat has seen Wolf Shadow, and Wolf Shadow is going to struggle. Because he's up high in an A-10. He's dodged. Now that's a hard thing to do, dodging an aim line mic. But look at that. He's got a kink just at the right time. Fooled the missile. Beautiful stuff. Very hard to do. Right. How is Gumba going to react to this? Gumba's got to now watch out for an overspeed. Because there is an overspeed coming here. Ah, oh, and Wolf just crashed. Must have gone. No, what happened there? It's not low. It's 4,000 feet. I think he lagged out. Disconnected. That's a shame. That was a good dogfight developing there. Never mind. Got Tender versus Fortinero. And Tender's done really well to spot Fortinero. Um, Fortinero's over 500 knots. He's low. It's not easy seeing a MiG like that, but he's, he's ID'd him. And in the chops, Fortinero. Very nice. And that's him down. Lovely job. Okay, another fight. So Sonic's gone up into 21 now as well. So we'll just see them much better. Better if they're coming in an A10s. So anyway, we've been through that discussion. What happened to Gumbo there? There's something happened. Ah, right. So all this time, Sonic's coming in, blatted R60s out. 
the gumbo is firing at nothing oh yeah just uh, just didn't see it coming essentially so not a lot of good work there from Sonic non-stop action this mission uh, Sonic who's flown in and then Miss Tender oh no 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 pow that's a team kill oh that was Spider oh no Spider got a lock on him and oh dear well if he survives it we can let him off are you going to survive Tender? yes he is Jurassic Park Oh, so much team killing, it makes you feel a little bit queasy. Sonic Dust has gone up. Not sure why, but he has. Makes him a bit of a target. Soyberg's hunting the fleet again. So Sonic, they're both coming in for the fleet. Three guys on the deck, and Spray and Pray. Look, it hits all of them. Wiped out three guys in one uh, gun pass. Pretty cool. And Soyberg's coming in at 170 knots. So, don't know what he's doing. He is going to Kamikaze slash land. That has taken all three of those guys out. That's some nice MiG 21ing. Another stop right here with the choppers. We've seen it all before, so that's fine. Sonic blasting away. Look at all that scrambling, respawning, scrambling, trying to get off. Blasting more guys. It's tender down. P man down. Nice big 21 in. And then he's out. Transonic. Can't, no one can catch him up. Something's gone in over here. Oh, it's Signori versus Trash. I remember that fight. It was a good fight. Okay, that's that. Sonic comes, turns into the guys. It's going to fly over us. That's nice. 60 out at one and a half miles. Two of them. No, it doesn't have the legs. It must have been more like two and a half, two miles. I think Atomic knows something's up. We've got any more missiles? You can definitely kill those guns now. So it's taking a huge lead. So there's a bit of an error there. Sonic um, kind of pulled lead to get a shot on. Would have been lovely to see him go around in a nice lag pursuit and. Uh, and take him down that way. But instead, he's exited the fight. It's kind of a MiG-21 thing to do, though, is to come in, pull lead, take a shot, and then just exit. Because a MiG-21 is not a turn fighter. It's like the worst turn fighter in the world. So, yeah, he probably knew what he was doing then. That's that. Fort Nero's back in. Lots of MiG-21s, no A-10s. Very silly reds. Got a fight. Uderosa comes in. Spots Atomic. It's going to do a big turn. It's keeping energy relatively high, so it's done a lovely big turn there. 6 G turn, that's all right. Oh dear. Oh dear, no. That, oh, <laughs> give me strength, Lord. These fucking blues. So Tender's decided to have a pop at Atomic. Luckily, Atomic sees it in time. It's a real health hazard being on the blue side. Uh, oh, no. He really wanted him dead, so that is definitely that's a team kill. So how many team kills has Tender done? I've completely forgotten. One or two. That's his second. That is his second. Right. Oh dear me. So uh Tomic did two, Tender did two, and Gumbo did two. So these guys are all gonna get a smack on the body. Because two is inexcusable. And all of that has led Uderosa to come in and get killing. That's Atomic definitely out now. Pointer is it in for hit and run. Abrams is spraying at him. He's got a shot out of Tender. Lovely belly shot there from Fort Nero. And P Man on Uderosa. That's much more like it. No team killing from the ex experienced guys. Fort Nero, look at that. Switches right onto P Man's tail. Huge energy advantage, but he, w he refused to pull lead. And now they're both going. Okay, so we've got a yo yo from Fort Nero. He's trying to lose his burner speed off and falling behind P Man, which is done beautifully. Great flying there. A double whammy, and one of them tracks and kills. Gonna have another look at that. So 
two really experienced guys going at it. So they're pretty even at this point, except Fort Nero has the speed advantage. So he decides not to pull lead, he goes into lag instead, he's going to come round here over the top. P-Man is gaining altitude. So Fort Nero, yeah, so that's where he scrubs his speed. Not too far, he doesn't go anywhere near stall. Yo is right behind him, into perfect firing position, tiny bit of a lead, and then he's down. That was lovely work. It shows what the uh, uh, MiG-21 can do if it's uh, if it's pressed. Uh, we've got another uh, helicopter fight. I'm sure we've seen it all before. Lots of hydras going out for someone. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Someone's so very trigger happy. Enigma. Oh, careful. Enigma's very trigger happy. <laughs> trash. Oh, we got him. We got him. Fort Nero saw that. It's going to be ugly. Fort Nero's coming in. Transonic. No. 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 Splat. Took two of us down. And crashed into camp. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Very good. Okay, Tony's coming in. Tony's desperate on killing that carrier, but... This not the mission, so I don't know why they're doing it. Ah, finally, someone's actually, apart from Wolf Shadow, doing something to kill these tanks. We've got Uderosa coming in. Oh no, they're shooting him. I thought he was shooting them. Damn. Never mind. Um, Tony's having a bit of a dogfight out there. Wow, Tony just beat a um, Aria. Look at that. So Tomic comes and spots Tony way off of the carrier, so that's great. Lovely there. Pulls lead. Got some dodgy shooting going on, and he's gonna. Go, he's got to go. He's got a hit. He's coming too fast. He's not slowing down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Okay, Tony's broke. Turning. Tomic's doing okay. He's trying to slow down. Into rolling scissors now. Okay, Tomic's burnt his speed off nicely. He's just got to slide in behind him now. Tomic pulled a little bit too. Pulling, Tomic's pulling too aggressively. You got Alpha. I'm seeing a 30, 30 degrees there. So I mean, this is very hard against an A10 that it can go really slow. And obviously, Tony's jettisoned his gear. Still rolling scissors. So it's really hard to do rolling scissors against an A10. So I can see why Tomic's struggling. Ah, Tomic's lost it right at that point there in the rolling scissors. If I can try and get it. On that pass there, Tomic has just lost step, lost situational awareness, decided to bail. Tony sees it. Tony's going to get right on his ass. Tony will have air to wear weapons. Struggling to get. Gowing. Oh, you should fire missiles, Tony. So Tomic's struggling to get um, energy back in this jet. Still up at Alpha 25 ish. Got to level out. Got to get some speed in there. The A-10's got a much slower wing loading for this. Tomic's now calling uh, P-Man in, spraying and praying. Oof, Jesus, that was close. Look at that. Shows the dangers of these Fox 2s. So these two are communicating with each other and looking for the hostile. P-Man fires at this guy, but it ends up tracking Atomic. No, it doesn't. It just looked like it did. It's just what Tony was doing. Okay, that was all... That's all perfectly safe. Atomic just ditches because he crashed. Um, now I've got P Man. P Man's much more experienced, so we should see a nice clean kill. Right, so instead of just leading right into him, what P Man's done is a nice high yo yo. Exactly what we should do burn off speed, let the hostile get ahead, and then come on behind him. So, pow, beautiful kill. So there's a difference between you see Atomic coming in, pulls lead, kind of gets greedy. Gets himself in trouble, into scissors, can't get out of scissors, ends up dying. Um, the difference, and then P-Man comes exactly the same. Just one high yo-yo move to slow himself down, let the A-10 get away, and a perfect shot. So that's the difference there between experienced and inexperienced humans. Udorist is coming in. Yep, coming in, blasting away. Hey, don't kill Cap. Double KO, very nice. 600 knots on choppers, not, not easy to do. Okay, anything else? 
We had another fight here. P Man straight into uh, Never Saw Fort Nero coming. Got stuff going on here, though. What is all this going on? So Zoiber comes in in A. MIA. Oh, I never saw this happen. Let's just have a look at that. So what's he doing? Wow, he got absolutely pasted. I never knew these uh, ground units. Look, he sprays that ground. I never knew these ground ground units were going to be so effective. Look, and his gunners are pasting these guys. Pa 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 pa. That was a very brave attempt. I guess at the end of the day, these ground units were just too powerful with the AAA. <laughs> Look how much concentrated fire. I never saw this happen. I wish I'd seen that. Gets rockets out, shooting these guys. That was a very good, very good attempt. Fort Nero is still killing helicopters in here. No, Atomic, that's down. Good kill. Turns out. Tender sees it. Lovely shot. Fort Nero is going down. Pion. And another. It's going to be a hit. Yep. Anything else? Rush is back in. P man's down. Not sure what Tender's doing. Getting himself in trouble. That's an ambitious R60 mic shot. That's that's a fast MiG-21. That might hit. Splat. Nice work, sir. Anything else? Trash runs into Signore. I think we saw that in the movie. And Uderos has exited, which is good. And I think that is going to be the end. Tony comes in, sprays Cap, hits Cap. Wow, I never knew he hit me so much. Somehow I survived that, and that was Gao as well. Wow, nice. Uh, but the boys see him off straight away, and they go, easy kill. Star chasing tender, a deadly triple A shooting shooting star. No, these guys never see each other. That's Sonic down. Tender blast me twenty one. Of the show, cap escapes. Fight pursues so. Charles wants to get out of, out of here. I get the feeling his engines are down. Yep. Look at that. Yep, his engines are down. Tender overcooks it. P man is pew pew. Lovely. Right. I'm almost certain it's the end now. No, it's still going. Fort and Arrow shoots Tender by the looks of it. I think the. Um, Mission has digressed now. From no one cares about doing the mission anymore. All they want to do is kill the aircraft carrier. Shooting the aircraft carrier. Spraying. So atomic's flying 500 knots south. Uderosa gets on this six with 100 knots. Bonus. Lovely. That's a good, lovely kill. So Dora is going to overspeed. Goes for a shot. Atomic dodges. Got his buddy coming in here. Rolling scissors. Atomic has stalled. Get the feeling he may have lost his engine. Port Nero shoots a helicopter down. Yep, Atomic's lost his engine going down. More missiles in the carrier, and that's the end. Obviously, I think it all got silly at this point, everyone just charged the carrier. Anyway, so, bit of a weird mission, didn't work out really, no one actually did the mission, and we had some huge problems, but happens sometimes, doesn't really matter. Uh, we did find some gems in there though, some cool dog fights, some things to learn, some awful team killing, uh, six, I counted six team kills from Tender Gumbo and Tomic, so that needs some serious work. Otherwise, um, that's cool, and we'll see you guys later.